well, it seems that flat earth science is finally catching up. And they now realize that Venus displays the same behavior as a comet. And that's according to this article that was published on Space Science on the 29th of January 2013. And it goes on to say that ESA's Venus Express has made unique observations of Venus during a period of reduced solar wind pressure, discovering that the planet's ionosphere balloons out like a comet's tail on its night side. The ionosphere is a region of weakly electrically charged gas high above the main body of a planet's atmosphere. Its shape and density are partly controlled by the internal magnetic field of the planet. Now, I'm not going to read any more because it is based on the gravity-driven Big Bang model, which, as I continually state, is the flawed model, unfortunately. Now, I'm not saying that everything about that model is, in fact, incorrect. However, most of it is. And it's very refreshing now to see that these theories that were postulated, you know, around the 1960s by Velikovsky, and we also have the uh, Thunderbolts.info group who postulate the Electric Universe theory, have long said that Venus is a captured comet. It is actually a large comet and was captured in our solar system. Uh, before it was eventually locked into position in orbit around our sun. Now, I'm not going on to say that that is what I actually take as my own truth, but I am saying that Venus definitely displays behavior like a comet, and this isn't only according to scientists. The ancients stated this as well, and they likened Venus to a hairy planet. That's what they call her. And, you know, they also likened her to Medusa with the, you know, the snakes on her as her hair. I mean, obviously they were talking about this cometary tail that Venus displays. Anyway, I will uh, post the article underneath the video and you can check that out for yourself. And as always, peace out.